Yeah, you see how cold it is inside my car? Look at this. Look, you guys can see. Guys, look at this. You guys, when I tell you guys, it is cold as cold AF. It is cold AF, okay? Let me book up myself up. I just got into this car and I'm kind of late for placement. It's what time is it? It's 8.16. I was supposed to be there for 8, so I'm late. But I'll be going there shortly as soon as I warm up this car of mine. Turtleneck life. Turtleneck life, okay? When you're out of school this You know what? You know what? I'm gonna be in May. Anyhow guys. Up. Apparently this jacket is supposed to be an extra small. I don't think this jacket is extra small. I think this shit is like a large lady. It's been cold. Apparently my car says it's negative eight, but I think it's a little bit colder outside. So I don't know if you guys can see the air. Yeah, you see how cold it is inside my car? Look at this. Look, you guys can see. Guys, look at this. Is this a joke? Canada is not the place, okay? It is not the place. If I ever get enough money, if I get rich, my ass is moving to a super hot country. Whoa, my wheel. Yo, my wheel is so freaking cold. I can't even, oh, I can't even hold my wheel. That's how cold my wheel is. This is what the front part of my clinic looks like. Next, we have the waiting area where the patient will sit and wait for their turn. guys see me in one of the rooms we do have two rooms in the clinic so this is the ECG room sometimes I come in here to use the mirror to kind of fix my hair but for the most part before we start using the room it does have to be completely sanitized and that's exactly what you guys see me doing over here Next, we have the supply room. This is where we keep all of the needles, the urine containers, the gloves. This also happens to be the lunch room. Over here, we have the urine containers. Then we have a centrifuge and then all of the tubes that need to be centrifuged. 
last week's video i did mention to you guys that urine does get further separated into smaller tubes or smaller containers and that's exactly what you guys see me doing over here i'm taking the urine that's in the big container and pouring it into a smaller tube before it can be sent to the main lab for processing and analyzing. Now keep in mind this could take some time depending on how many urines I have for the day but for the most part the process is pretty quick and easy. So this is my view from the room that I'm in. It's literally facing the parking lot, which is perfect because it allows me to keep an eye on my car just in case anything goes wrong. I'll see it from the room that I'm in. The second last thing I typically do before my day is done is to put labels on these tubes. So the tubes that I'm labeling came from the nursing home. They do not have any labels on them. The only way we identify these tubes is by numbers. So the nursing home staff will put a number on the top of the tube they will send it to the clinic the clinic will create a label for the tubes put the labels on and then we send them out to the main labs for analyzing and processing last thing I do before I leave the clinic is to restock all of the supplies. So I do do this for both rooms. I will restock 
any missing needles, any missing tubes, if we need any more cotton swabs, all of that does get restocked before the end of the day. This brings me to the end of my video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something new. I will see you guys next week, Sunday. Until then, have a beautiful day. Bye.